you have a lot of people supporting you as well. And you mentioned until they come clean. I remember reading one exchange uh, that was written about you and when testimony was ongoing uh, on Capitol Hill. And there were other individuals that uh, some elect some politicians that were trying to claim that a stand down order yep. wasn't given. You and, and your teammates say, oh, yes, absolutely a stand down order was given. And you had said, I am not going to lie to protect somebody's backside, which seems as though they still to this day expect that to take place, which is why it seems as though they continually diminish what was a terror attack, your actions and the loss of life. Uh, and it diminishes the heroism that took place. It diminishes the, diminishes the courage, the American spirit that you talked about on your prior segment. That's what it diminishes. But it, it also, and, and we can look at it as a positive as, as, positive as well. Um, it really does show the hypocr hypo um, excuse me, the hypocrisy of the left. It shows the hypocritic um, nature that they have of, of silencing conservatives that do know the truth, that do speak out against them, but then utilizing the the left and as as a weapon and um i again it's it's hard for me to stand for it and, and this has been a long yeah. day for me and and i you know it's just even me trying to compa co compose myself and not saying i'm going to choke anybody <laughs> again um yeah yeah it, it's 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 difficult it's but uh yeah it, but it, it, one of those things again where, where we have still got to stand up and stand together and still fight Fight the good fight. You can never give up. You never quit, no matter the odds against you. And that's what Benghazi taught me more than anything and my mm. teammates, seeing them fight through every obstacle.